15 year old boy shot himself in the head with a brief foot in a brief foot chase with Chicago PD. Yeah, I read that part. Okay, you read that. <laughs> Yo, what's going on? It's your man Sean, better known as Beaks on T. It's Thursday, so you already know what time it is. You're tuned into the Brotherhood. I have a guest with me today. It just kind of happened. She didn't work. I didn't work. So here we are. This is another one of my younger sisters that y'all have not met. I believe y'all met Andy several times. This here, this is Lily. Take yourself to the people. Hi. <laughs> so she's always crazy busy. I'm always crazy busy. So it's not often we're able to actually link up and make this happen. But with this whole news thing that we got going on every now and again, she's definitely the right person to debate with on these type of things. So here we are. We were kind of like back and forth on what we wanted to talk about. I was kind of leaning on the whole Nike controversy that's going on. Um, but you guys know how I feel about choosing like something that's just so, you know, in the spotlight. It seems too easy to me, although it's definitely something that needs to be addressed. Um, but that's neither here nor there. That's not what we decided to go with. So... Basically, there is a story. Uh, what was the young man's name? Um, he was. He was on. He um. There was a foot chase with Chicago police. Um, and supposedly, this kid shot himself. I believe they said. Stephen. So they claim that this young man Ro shot I'm himself. Sorry, Rosenthal. Rosenthal. Stephen Rosenthal. He was 15 years old. Fatally shot himself in the head after a foot chase with Chicago police, according to the Cook County Medical Examiner's Office. Now, the crazy thing about this story is that he supposedly shot himself in the head, committed suicide, according to what, you know, some people are claiming. Me, personally, I believe they just did kill another young black man. I mean... It, it doesn't add up to me and it doesn't make sense. I, I, that's just how I feel about it. I just, it makes no sense. Nobody saw him do this. That shit don't make no sense to me. No. It seems, that to me, it seems like a cover up. It seems like one of them shot a kid in the head, said, oh fuck, what am I gonna do? Looked at his partner and said, my career, I'm gonna be all over the news. Partner said, look, 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 we'll just say we found him like that. You place a gun, boom. Either so make people you seem are more against this. Like a terrorist, they make you seem like an addict, or what, what's the other one? And then suicide. Mm. You're depressed. And it's crazy because nowadays, you're a terrorist. You don't fall in line, you're a terrorist. You don't believe terrorist. what they want you to believe. If you don't think the way they want you to think, it's that simple. I think we have a big problem here in America with terrorism. The biggest gangsters out here ain't the niggas on the corner with the pistols. And this, half of this, them, half of them, these the, niggas is in the, suits. The main reason <laughs> and the main way they get suits. supplied with half the stuff they have. It's a revolving cycle. You know, everybody likes that trending hashtag, stay woke and all that, but everybody don't know what that means. Not for real, for real. Not at all. No. Honestly, I think that this was a setup. I think, I don't know what happened initially, whether it was a setup from point A to the end, or whether it was a setup because something happened. Like, he just shot the kid and his partner, either him and his, either the person or their partner was like, what the hell did you just do? Now we got to figure out how to cover this up. All right, let's just say he killed himself. He had enough really time no to stop in a like foot at chase at that. In a foot chase with two cops behind him, running after him. He had enough time to stop, angle the gun, and shoot it. And they have been protesting about this, but it's like, it's to the point now where it's like, what do you do? You know, because the protests don't get us nowhere. Trayvon's killer wasn't convicted. If you've seen the this, this special, everything that Zimmerman's done since that case, the nigga clearly shouldn't have got off. 
this God fearing Christian man who's so for the community. Look at all the bullshit the niggas done since he got off. Society, you yes. know what I'm saying? So it's like just watching that, watching all of the cops who get a slap on the wrist, if anything at all. You know, it's just like nowadays, what what is our walking, in, you know, around and, and, and protesting and speaking our minds going to get us? And at the same time, you get violent, then what's that going to get you? It ain't going to do nothing but have these small police stations who are now bringing in military type vehicles, you know what I'm saying, for situations like this. They just going to come out and they going to get buck wild. We going to get buck wild and then it's just going to be bloodshed, you know. So it's just like, what do you do? What do you do? You know what I'm saying? That That's basically where I feel like we at as a nation, for those of us that actually do give a fuck and aren't trying to live in the past years from now worried about why Nike is standing for everything that fucking makes sense, like equality, but hey, that's neither here nor there. Because let's not get into how, how big of a conspiracy theorist I am. Personally, oh, yeah. I think they this was done on purpose. Per, in a personal opinion. I'm not saying that these are facts. These are opinions. But... In my opinion, it was, this was done purposefully. Like, they saw this kid, they saw, and not only that, like, this kid's dead now. We don't know what type of information he might have bumped into. You know, you just gotta really be woke for real. Like, stay woke for real. Not because it's a trendy thing to say, like, really be aware of what the deal is. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just don't be... Don't be afraid of it because it's it's happening and there's no ways and around also, it. Like, but understand what's going on. Right. You know what I mean? And also like be aware. Don't be distracted either. Don't be distracted either. Like the main thing is a lot of the technology that we have and the resources that we have are tools to get this exact information. I mean where do you think I got half the information I have? Like, a lot of this is tools, but it's, we're so distracted with ads and social media and dumb shit that we don't use it as a tool. It's literally information at your fingertips. Oh, uh, yeah. You can use it to increase your knowledge. On anything. Or you anything. can let it distract you. Yes. And the majority of the time, thing. because of decision. the apps, the social media, and the... um view and importance of a social media presence that it's now a distraction tool instead of being used for a good cause for example our tv but that's a whole different subject so like with this kid he could have been set up like is it a possibility? So. Yes. I definitely think that this kid got set up. Just so y'all don't think we got off topic, the way that this all ties in is you got to understand that that shit that happened to that, to that young man makes no sense. The shit that bro talked about before, the guy that got shot in his own house by the cop and it's supposed to be not her fault. Like, come like on now. Like that wasn't a setup. Yeah, Open was, your mind. It it's a much. spider web that all connects to one much. thing. It was too much. And they're you starting one by one, is. little by little. It happened to the Kennedy brothers, and it'll happen to you. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> don't execute my life on the comments, please. <laughs> Yo. Shit real, bro. Hell yeah. You ever watch Marilyn Monroe's documentary? Watch that shit. That shit will make you change your mind, yo. Shit real. They talk about aliens. That's how real it gets in her documentary. Aliens. Yo, we shouldn't even be talking about this. I'm getting ready to fly in like less than 48 Don't hours. Don't <laughs> Wait until you get is, is Wait not until you come back. On a plane. <laughs> Speaking of which, because I'm flying, I am gonna I'm flying with my with my tea bag. So I have my needles, syringes, testosterone, all of that, and I'm taking the prosthetic. I'm gonna just pack the prosthetic on one of the trips, either going or coming, I haven't decided yet. And then I am going to wear it either going or coming to see what happens so i can let y'all know how that will be all right you think they'll give you a hard time i don't know because that new machine like analyzes so they might pick it up like i've heard prosthetics get mm. picked up in that machine as being a gun because of how it's shaped yeah so i don't know we're gonna see how these new body scan machines go and how that goes um my wife is a little nervous about me doing it but i feel like it's something that needs to be done you know so we'll see Fingers crossed, but we gonna wrap this up. You already know what it is. You been rocking with your man Sean.
better known as Beat Song T. And I'm Alicia or Lily. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching. We out. Right. Oh, wait. Before we go, the two families that we discussed really hope that you guys get justice and that you guys are finding peace. All right. Civil rights is no joke, ladies and gentlemen. And Black any of y'all that matter. believe that we're almost there, you're fucking crazy. Black lives matter. Shit, Obama got dragged through the mud just for speaking on Trayvon's situation. Oh yeah. All right, deuce, deuce.